can go 50-50 with no hope. Aquarius! A trio! If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, thanks for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. I love you guys. I got the decks shuffled, ready to go, hot off the press. More like cold press, because that's what y'all are. You so I said. Okay, let's just get into it. First of all, I saw the Aries card. It was at the bottom of the deck. And it, and actually, this indecision was at the bottom of the deck when I was um, shuffling the energy oracle cards. And when I saw this one coming out, and I was like, oh, you, you made up your mind. And this popped out, like flew out after. And I was like, I knew it was on its way. So you guys have definitely wrapped something up with the world being here and then contract. I mean, contract is in the upright, so this could talk about something new um, that's coming around that is um, like something that's binding. But I just feel like you guys made up your mind about something. I feel like you guys are seeing something clearly now. And like, like even at the bottom of the, the it, what is this, the cosmic, card was walk your truth and this is an eight along with this so it's like and with the eight I just feel like it's something that's been like an ongoing thing and it's just like ugh, I'm just over like I'm tired of reading like I just like I feel like you guys read something or somebody said something and you look like this how what I'm feeling from her is the whole um you know that Kevin Hart meme or well it's from his stand-up but he's like he got the <laughs> what part of the skit is that but he's just looking like really like <laughs> the tongue in his cheek that like really really bitch like that's what I'm feeling like but we got the ace of wands the tower three of pentacles and the lovers like if this does have to do with some something or someone else like a lover situation like it's definitely in the past and it's just like like she's looking dead on but red means stop like or she I don't know why I said she but the Aries uh the ram like is just looking at it like yeah this is a mess like it is like it is a tower and it's just like you knew it's like you knew this but it's like you know normally I don't do this but um yes I do and blocked that's that's how I'm feeling and then at the bottom of this deck I'm, I wanted to use the revelations tarot because oh I just realized that it's called revelations tarot but um at the bottom of the deck we got the fool and a lot of people see this as Aries but I feel like it could be Aquarius too because you know you're moving on to something new and it's just like kind of going in blindly but it's not foolishly it's just like taking that leap of faith and just not really caring about what anybody thinks or what anybody has to say at this point because it's just like i'm worried about myself like as much as this means like a new beginning it's not a new beginning for whoever that is Ooh. whoa yeah magician with the two of wands in reverse like you've definitely made your mind up about something and you taking your one sword you taking your one wand and your cup and what else where is your pinnacle maybe that's what you're trying to conjure up maybe you're trying to conjure up some new money big money <laughs> i don't know why that just made me think of the fucking slot machine and at the bottom of the deck we have death um so it could have been dealing with an aries um, Gemini for sure somewhere, or this might be in your chart, another Aquarius. Um, Gemini for sure, because this is Gemini, but this can also be Virgo too, but you know, they share the same planet of Mercury, same ruler or Scorpio. And this card, like in this deck, yeah, you're moving far, far away, <laughs> far, far away. You never come back. You might've actually moved, maybe, um, or just like left, like physically, like got into your car. It was just like, mm, I'm out of here. Um, in this deck, like she does a dance on top of it. Like, she, like it's a happy ending. 
Ding, 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 ding. Oh my gosh, Kieran. Like it is, like it's a happy ending. Like as much, I feel like it was a struggle. Like things, like, it's like it could have worked out, but it's just not. And I feel like this is you, like just forcing your decision. Like I'm not doing this. Like, because the two of wands would be like needing to, to choose a direction, which would be this indecision card if it was in the upright. That's like the same thing, but these are both in reverse so it's like no no i already chose yeah I, I would never show you the the split like this but the knight of cups in reverse like you're doing this unapologetically and it's just like mm -mm, i got this like you see how she got her hand up like no no like i i know what you see things for what it really is you're just not saying anything you you can read between the lines and you're not saying anything anymore like it just You're probably leaving the person to look at themselves in the mirror like, why are you like this? They still don't know. They are having a full tower moment. And you know, the first um, song that something told me to put on Drake and the first song that came out was, I'm upset. Cause I usually put on the shuffle. <laughs> like, I'm upset. So you upset, somebody upset. And it's not really an upset like, ah! Like you really wanna like fuck somebody up. Like this talks about nostalgia, but, oh, this is the Six of Cups. I feel like this is you choosing to see things differently. Like you can remember the good times and be okay with the fact that you're not going in that direction anymore and that you're, because the fool, like you're the fool right now. And I don't even want to say like that, like even in another deck, they, it's called like the sacred clown. Like, come on, you guys. But I just feel like you're, you just don't care. And it was something about my watch too. Like, um, I was looking at it and the clock is here too. So something about time, like it might've been time. Divine timing is finally like making its way, making its way downtown. And I was looking at my watch and I realized that I bought this in, um, I bought it in Texas. I still ain't changed the time on it. I just know what time it is. But it's like, I'm in the future because it's two hours ahead. And that's typical for an Aquarius. Like, you guys are in the future. You guys are futuristic as hell. Um, oh, shit. And I have a ring that says futuristic mermaid. And this guy's totally a mermaid. But I feel like this is you guys just, like, being content with... This isn't a card of, like, being content. But I just feel like you're celebrating yourself. Because, like, I only see three cups here. And... It's just like you're you're completely satisfied with what you are bringing into your life, what you have brought like into your life. And it's just like this tower moment is really for whoever else is a part of your scenario, not for you. And I just kind of, I feel like you're watching this person have this tower moment and you're just like, you're cool with it. It's not like you're reveling in the fact. I mean, kinda like, mm, yo bed, like that's how I'm feeling. Ooh, look at that. The Tower, King of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles. Normally, I would be like, this is too many cards. But no. Like, for some of you, the decision that you made might bite you in the ass later on. Like, in the future. Because the King of Wands speaks about the future. How? Um, but I feel like this, um, but for the other group of you, that's for a small group of you. For a group of you, um the OG group that I was feeling this tower moment because now we got the tower and the tower and this is like double the energy it's just like an aha moment like for sure and that is Uranus it's like Eureka I've got it and it's like you're finally you finally hopped on the dragon and you're ready to like take this to the next level like you know what you want for your future and you're actually willing to be patient which is not like an Aquarius I'm sorry, it's just not, but you guys are fixed. So it kind of takes you guys to get out um, of a groove that you've been used to. But slowly but surely, like it's happening. And here go your coin. Remember I said, where is your coin? Here it is. It's right here. It's right here. See? Oh, wow. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the Wheel of Fortune. Hell the fuck yes. Okay. I love it. I got such high energy. 
like I feel like something's gonna happen like overnight like while you're asleep like and I'm only saying for that like it's like you've had time to think you're not the thinking woman anymore whoever is around in your vicinity like they are now the thinking woman like you you flip that six <laughs> upside down it's a nine now okay Drake see like tower moment for sure and like you I feel like this person or whoever you're dealing with or whatever the situation is, it's been in and out. It wasn't consistent. And it's just like, you know, you've had enough. And it's just like, the torch has been lit. The flame has been lit. It's lit. And you're lit. And you're like, yeah, like you've had the enlightenment. You've gone through, like you see things for what it is. And that, that full car, like the sun isn't even yellow. The sun is white. Like it don't get no clearer than this. Like... I love it. Okay, so let's read. So while y'all are out here walking y'all truth, let's read this intuition card. So whatever like messages that you've been getting, like these are clear like downloads. And I feel like you guys are realizing that. And that is your intuition. Like don't doubt it. All right. When you pray for sincerity, it comes from the heart. But do you find that your prayers often go unheard and unanswered? You are open when it comes to praying, dear one. But when it comes to receiving, you are closed. Most often, fears and doubts creep in to form barricades that block messages and communication from spirit. The universe, God, source, or whatever you wish to call that loving presence that speaks to you through your intuition, dreams, and visions is a quieter, gentle voice that often goes unheard. If you have drawn this card, spirit is asking you to pay closer attention to, the, at, to that inner voice that goes unheard oh wait i can't read today <sighs> see that's why i need to go to that center for kids that can't read good um school for ants if you have drawn this card spirit has asked you to pay closer attention to that inner voice and intuition it has been communicating to you the answers and guidance that you seek going within and listening to inner guidance requires being open and away from distractions and whatever the situation was, I feel like that was a distraction. And it was like, it kept pulling you up from what you were actually reading, what you were getting. And that is a blockage. Like, and it's just like, and it was kind of like pissing you off because it's like throwing you off your game. Like, really, bitch? Like, what do you want this time? Going, uh, blah, 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 blah. do not be, my, be misguided by the voice, of the, the voice of the ego. The ego is loud, disruptive, and will do anything in its power to convince you that what you are doing is foolish ooh, and a waste of time. Do not let the voice of ego fill your head with negative and disruptive thoughts. Simply observe this loud voice. Now give that quieter, gentle, loving voice within you a chance. Life isn't about killing the ego, but simply nurturing and watering the divine within you. In so doing, the ego fails to grow and survive in the light filled body of uh, love. You know what's so crazy is that I was talking to my sister about like killing the ego. That's so crazy. And and she's an Aquarius. And she actually said, she was like, well, you don't want to kill the ego. I was like, okay, yeah, you don't want to kill it. It's got to die. But, you know, but just integrate it. Um, but I just think that's, you know, that's uh, pretty cool. <laughs> You know, I know you've been waiting on that one. <laughs> okay, so the prayer for this card is, may I always have the wisdom and clarity to listen to the divine guidance and intuition within me. And this is associated with the heart chakra. And I don't know what made me pull out this green stone today. This is green obsidian, by the way. Um, I literally just put this here for this reading. So this, who was this? You might wanna watch the cancer video. Um, because I feel like that's, there's something that is, that coincides with that, with this reading in some sort of way. So maybe that, um, but, uh, there was something else I was going to say, but I guess it's not really important because I don't even remember. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I love you guys. If this resonated, comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I love you guys again, and I'll talk to you later.